is in a hellhole right now. All for a wall. All right, that is rapper Cardi B not holding back on her thoughts on the government shutdown. Then came a huge fight on Twitter between Cardi B, screen left, and on the right, our next guest, Tommy Laren. Tommy joins us right now from uh, the West Coast. Tommy, what happened? Well, to put it pretty simply, you know, I saw that video that, that she had posted, and, right. you know, I implied that maybe Cardi B isn't the person we should be taking our political advice from. And uh, it took her a few days, but she responded, and instead of arguing about the merits of her political argument, she right. said that she okay. was going to dog walk me. Um, oh. And, you know, viewers can look up on Urban Dictionary what dog walking someone means, but uh, to put it simply, it's to severely beat somebody up. So okay. we go from a political disagreement to I want to hurt you. So uh, Cardi B said the dog walking stuff after you tweeted this at her. You said, looks like I am Cardi B is the latest genius political mind to endorse the Democrats. Ha, keep it up, guys. MAGA 2020. Well, you would imagine something like that would get a response from Cardi B. And she mentioned the dog walking thing. But then out of nowhere, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez came out and she agreed with Cardi B. She wrote, why do people think that they can mess with Bronx women without getting roasted? They act as though our borough hasn't been perfecting the clapback game since the Sugar Hill gang. Y'all just found it on Twitter. All right, were you surprised to see that? Well, I'm not surprised at anything that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says, but again, I'm, I'm also impressed the way that the left does the mental gymnastics to justify it. Listen, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on an almost daily basis says that Trump supporters and President Trump himself incite violence, and then she goes and applauds and encourages a tweet by a rapper who threatens physical violence against me. So again, this is the double standard at play, and it's not just rappers, it's not just trolls on Twitter. These are elected representatives who are endorsing and saying the same thing. So, you know, it's really puzzling and troubling. So you're saying that because uh, she essentially came back and defended Cardi B, uh, who had said the stuff about the dog walking regarding you, that is something that uh, there's a double standard for, and you would like AOC to do what then? Well, again, I don't really want her to do anything. I just want well, to point do it out. Something. Listen, Cardi B can have a political opinion. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez can have a political opinion. We know we're not going to stop her from doing that. I just like to point out the left's hypocrisy because can you imagine if I would threaten to to dog walk Cardi B or anyone else for that right. matter as a conservative, as a Trump supporter, I would never get away with that. But they're able to do it and the left applauds it. Now, again, if you look through my final thoughts I did the other day on Fox mm -hmm. Nation or you just look at my Twitter, you you can see that there are leftists with verified accounts who are not only laughing at the fact of me being dog walked, they're tweeting out memes showing okay. me in a leash and a collar with Cardi mm -hmm. B walking me. And beyond that, they are actually saying, yeah, she would hurt you, she would beat you up. I wish we could start a GoFundMe page so we could watch your teeth get knocked out. These aren't just internet trolls. These are people with okay. verified blue check marks on Twitter, double standard all day long.